It's your boy, uh, Jay the Dog King Heppin here. You know what I'm saying? You, y'all probably already know, you know what I'm saying? There's been a lot of uh, crazy stuff going on as far as my, uh, my Dodge shipment. But I just wanted to let y'all know, you know, I, I feel like I had to do this video. I wanted to let y'all know, you know, I might be down, uh, beaten and battered. But in the famous words of not a talk, everybody that want me to give up, well, guess what? You can give up on me. Give it up. Because Jay, the Dog King Hefner, is more motivated than ever to bring about a dog utopia. I know what happened. See, you motherfuckers thought that I was going to get so depressed and pissed off that I was going to say, forget the synthetics and the dogs. Well, guess what, motherfuckers? You lost your damn mind. So let me update everybody that might be new to the J. Dog King Hefner uh, channel. You know what I'm saying? Here's the deal. I'm just a regular guy, normal guy. You know, seemingly normal like a lot of people. But you know what? I'm an in-cast that's really a motherfucking outcast. You know, I'm a nerd, cartoon, anime watching, um, a never grow up kid. Just like a lot of people. And, 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 and guess what? I might not be like all of y'all, but everybody out there probably got some different things about them, quirks about them. Well, guess what? Somebody thought you might not have been good enough. Well, guess what? They didn't always think I wasn't good enough. For whatever reason, some of the times they let me in like I was one of them. But hell, no, I wasn't, motherfuckers. I was one of y'all. And that's how I always am, and that's how I always will be. I never turn my back. Except for one time, and I regret that. And I told you about that. And you know what? Never again. I'm all about the people that feel like they got to be in the shadows. And I'm going to speak for you. So here's what happened, people that's just tuning in. Um, <clears throat> hell, the truth is, the matter is, it's just the truth. I done had uh, plenty of heartbreak, like you say. But men ain't supposed to have heartbreak. They ain't supposed to have emotion. But let me tell you something. Ladies, y'all can do all the crying and flipping and flopping all you want. Men might not have the capacity to love quite as much, but let me tell you, they got every bit of capacity to love more than y'all a lot of the times. That's why some of these motherfuckers crazy, because they take the shit way too far. They take it to possession. But I'm telling you, man got it. We, we, we capable of having emotions, and a lot of my shit done went wrong. Even though I put forth my be best effort. And like I've said before, and like a lot of y'all probably then got to this point, sometimes when that shit in, you look back and be like, I done wasted my motherfucking time. What did I do? I could have just kept doing the shit that I wanted. Oh, I don't like you playing the game. Oh, I don't like uh, the inebriations that you choose to do. Oh, I don't like this, and I don't like that. If you are just straighten up, hey, you know what? Why don't you just dress up a little bit more? How about you just fuck off? You know what I'm trying to say? Because Jake, the Dog King Hefner, and everybody out there, be your damn self. And if they don't like it, they can kick rocks. And that's how I've been for a while. And I've been a lot happier. You know, because you got to get happy with your goddamn self. That's the thing. If you ain't happy with yourself, you might not need one of these dogs. I'm going to let you know that right now. Because the dog ain't going to bring no happiness, motherfucker. You got to have it. You got to have imagination. You got to bring it out. It ain't the damn dog. But then you want to treat the dog crazy and all this shit because you're problems. Don't do that. You got to treat it nice, gentile. That way, when you get with a real person, like I've said before, you'll treat them the same way with the same type of respect. But they think I'm crazy because you know why? I be on Facebook talking about my dog. I be in public talking about my dog. Here's the deal. The dog ain't gonna break up with me. The dog ain't gonna leave me. The dog ain't gonna treat me wrong. And you know what? I can do everything I want to do and then come back to the dog. For a little companionship. The important thing is, I'm already happy with some of the things I do. I like messing with my cats. I like rapping in the car by myself, even though it ain't worth a damn. I like dancing a little bit. I like looking at cartoons. I like doing a lot of shit. I like just having fun. But you know what? I don't like when a motherfucker want to dictate what you need to be doing. And how you need to be doing it. And then, when you fall for the trap of doing what they tell your ass to do, they leave your ass, motherfucker. And that's what's going to happen. 
But that dog ain't going nowhere. Because I guarantee you, the only way that dog going to leave is the motherfucker take it. It ain't going to leave on its own. That's why I say, don't touch the motherfucking dog, bro. Now, here's the deal. I finally, you know, everybody had been following me on this trail to get the dog, blah, 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 blah. And so, my first dog was finally going to arrive. And I knew it. Just like a real woman, it arrived a day early from Kimber Dog, Sex Dogs. It wasn't their fault, what I'm finna tell you. They was perfect. The shipper, which I ain't gonna say nothing about them. But the shipper, is this something my enemy see? Could be. Yep, it is. Y'all didn't say shit. Fuck it. It's gone now. Let's see. Yep, it's gone. Y'all done had that before too. Either way, Kimber Dog, it wasn't their fault, right? Uh, I get my package, it's busted open I expected, it. I'm like, hey, damn the Feet dirty, and I was upset But I touched my first TPM for the first time And that skin felt very good It was only cold, I was like, damn This shit mm, feels sort of good But it was dirty and it pissed me off My feelings was actually hurt Because, here's the deal, like I told you I do some, ever since I've been little I've attributed real life attributes To NMA artists I always play with G.I. Joes, Toys, Men I had them fighting and doing all type of stuff. But if you step on my man, hey, well, hold on, bro. Don't do not do not do nothing to my tours, right? I think it's the same thing, even though, like, I, I, I hadn't really got the dog till then. But, you know, I told you, I've seen videos where dudes just slam these dogs around, right? And it it it, it actually was offending me. So I'm like, I, I did a video on it, right? So make a long story short. I see the dog been basically abused, and it really hurt my feelings. I'm like, dude. Because I don't know what, if that had been a microwave or something, I'd have been pissed. But it was just different. It's like, dude, you you just slamming around who I named uh, Cali's son. I was like, dude, this is just no respect. Box all open feet dirty. I said, you know what? I'm going to leave the house. I sent the people, the vendors, a message on the email. Kimber Dog. Let me tell you something. It's a woman named Holly there. She's great. She's amazing. If you do ever get one. They gonna treat you amazing as far as the customer service. I'm not gonna lie about that. This is not their fault, and I'm not gonna name a ship. Either way, I go to get Cali a rose, just because I'm like, you know what? When I get her cleaned up, blah blah blah, we are gonna take a picture, blah 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 blah. And uh, went to go get her rose. They wanted me to check for damages. I'm like, I will. I come back. I noticed that a wig wasn't there or some like somebody had maybe taken it out. Feet was scratched up a little bit and shit, you know. That hurt my feelings. She got war wounds already that I didn't put on her. But, uh, you know, I'm like, damn. You know, I did start touching my first TP and all that stuff for the first time. Like, damn. And her box ripped up, of course. Uh, and uh, luckily, I can't even lie, man. Luckily, I bought some stuff ahead of time. And one of the main things I'm glad I brought was some memory foam. Because when I found out that what I'm going to tell you, I put that memory foam in that box and to, to keep her good and laying on something soft but what happened was man i i i, I complained about, about what happened uh kimber dog was nice they were just like hey we're here to stand by to just help you just keep sorting through it and i was sort of done i had complained to ups i'm mean, oop, i'm sorry but either way you heard it now i complained to these motherfuckers and uh told them um you know what happened or whatever and um after that man honestly i was just like upset so i said you know what let me just try to make the best of the night let me go back here check on kale uh 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 check on cali cali son baby go check on her for a second and i just started standing over her bro for a second i was just looking at her body and stuff and i was like look at cali man this is true i said damn you know what it's something just ain't right about her though what the fuck is it? wait a minute she ain't where the fuck is her face at I was like, wait a minute, where the fuck? I said, oh, I got to get a head. The head wasn't in the box, motherfucker. I was so pissed, bro. I'm like, these mother... That, that's what I'm convinced. I don't, there's no way that head fell out of the box and the motherfucker didn't notice it. Somebody stole her head. They beheaded her and stole that shit. And uh, I'm going to be honest, bro. I got a little emotional last night because... You know what, when you have a lot of shit that don't go right here and there in your life, not all the ones, you know, hey, all life ain't bad. I'm just saying, you know, when you had these moments, it's like that shit just drug guts some memories because the one thing that these synthetic beings uh, represent for us, and I know for me, and I didn't know because like I said, this is my first one, but 
I was already having an attachment with her, I guess, in my mind before she even got here. And so I'm thinking, like, it hurt my feelings that somebody actually, you know, hurt her. And then, not only that, whenever uh, I plan something to happen with her, it's supposed to happen. But it was crazy because this messed up. You know what I'm saying? But everything with these synthetic bands, it's supposed to be how you dictate it. But you made it tell me I went from humans. So I ain't gonna lie, my mind was playing tricks on me. But here's the deal, bro. It was a minor setback for a major comeback. Because you know what? I started just thinking. I um I had left Callie on her box. And there was some little rough stuff under her. I had left out the room, closed the door, walked out of there. You know what I'm saying? I came here, I wasn't feeling too good to myself. And I just started thinking, man, I don't know what it was. I, I was planning on leaving her in there like that, right? And my son just started saying, man, you can't leave her like that. I'm like, what the fuck? I can't leave her like that. And he was like, no, you, you got you to gotta go tuck it in better, man. You can't, you, come on, man, how can you do that? I'm like, what? So I go in there, uh, pick her back up. I, that's when I got the memory foam out. Put a little padding down, wrapped her back up. You know, had her looking all nice and neat. And guess what? Laid it back in. I felt so much better about it. Because you know why? That was Callie's son. I'm telling you, bro. That skin felt a lot better than that. All. And this was, I'm telling you, Kimber Dogs only cost that much. And I ain't doing no promo for them right now. I, hey, they can pay me if they want to. But I'm telling you, Kimber Dog felt good. I slapped that butt. That motherfucker was moving. And it ain't even just super fat because that ain't the body make of it. But the, I mean, it was, it was reacting. And. I know that um, the WM doll I'm getting is supposed to be a lot more bouncy with the booty and the, and, the, and the titties and all that good stuff, but this shit has some little clapback. Now, in my mind, I don't know why I thought the doll was going to be bigger, but then when I looked at it, I said, no, nah, truth for me, it, it, a petite woman could be about that size, though. And so, I, it's about right. And I, I, With her head, she is going to be right at about 5'2", because without it, she like 4'5". Make a long story short, like you say, after last night and I got to thinking, I said, you know what, I'm going to use all of this time to continue to clean, continue to improve uh, the things around her, you know, get prepared. I ain't going to lie, I didn't bathe her last night, because she actually pretty damn looking pretty good. I was, you know, she looked pretty good, but my thing is, I don't want to bathe her right now. I want to see when her head going to come. And when her head get closer to coming, that's when I'm going to bathe her, right? Get it all set up and do it all over again. And the saga going to continue. Her rack just came in, so the girl's going to be able to hang in a second. Now, this is the last point I'm going to hit, man. Since I've been posting this stuff, a lot of girls been getting jealous, right, bro? Because, you know, they've been saying, hey, how could I want to have sex with a doll and this, that, that, and this, and that's nasty. I'm like, how the hell is that nasty? It's probably more nasty hitting some of these women out here that ain't keeping themselves clean, sleeping with who knows who, I don't know what the hell they got, or whatever. And I ain't coming down on our women. What I'm saying is, sleeping with a dog, is like I said, as long as I'm cleaning her and doing her right, that's actually clean. And, you know, the thing about it is, you ain't, she don't, they, they don't understand how you can even come up to the fact of how you could make love to this dog. You don't understand. It may be better to sleep with a woman on a certain level. But here's the deal. A lot of that shit ain't worth the stress. So guess what? If you just say, okay, I'm going to sacrifice a little pleasure. I promise you, it's probably going to be a little. Because I actually like her. I like Callie's son. She looks nice. She was cold. But imagine when I warm her. She, make a long story short. She ain't a real woman. We understand that. But guess what? I'm telling you, ladies. You talking about how can we do it? I can easily do that. And have a, something going on in my brain, imaginative enough to have a very good session. It's going to be better than whatever the hell you talking about with that damn vibrator you hold. And that's what I'm saying. Like, we finally got some. I don't need you, motherfucker. Yeah, she, because I got my vibrator. Well, guess what? I ain't going to say we don't need you. But guess what? We can do without your ass for a while. But you got to be happy. Remember that. By your damn self. If you can, like, truly be happy by your damn self and then... Introduce this in your life Like I'm, I, I ain't got experience with it Beginners I'm a beginner with the dog myself But this is what I'm imagining Happening Cause She ain't even fully here yet And I'm already getting excited That's, that's how it is bro 
And, and like I say, you know, I know I'm here and there. I didn't talk to a lot of y'all. And I'm, I'm just really so happy y'all are with me. That's what's got me going. Some people just do this shit. I want to get fired. I, I want to do this. I want to make my. I want to do this. Nah, man. I, it just feel good to have anybody with me on this journey. It's just funny, man. Like getting feedback from y'all and all this. And I promise you, it's many a topic y'all want to talk about. It. This ain't like the. This ain't the end. This ain't all, oh, man. He, we getting ready to wrap it up, man. This shit evolving. This the beginning of this shit, bro. Because like I got a lot more in my brain to talk about about the dog and about life and stuff. You know, I ain't finna force out my life views on y'all. I, I do have views, but guess what? We could talk about this and a lot more. And that's what I plan on doing, man. Like, uh, Dog Chaos, man, I'm telling you, bro. I appreciate he a view of y'all. He, he bring a lot to the table. Um, Nisi 45 Ross, man, that dude, you know, he's supportive. Uh, you know what? Uh, evil. God. Man, why can't I never? You know why I can't remember? I'm gonna be honest with you. I just don't like evil in people's name. I'm gonna be honest. And that don't mean I don't like you. But that's probably I'm gonna get it though. I, I'm gonna get. I think it's oh, evil demon or something like that. But nevertheless, about his name, the dude be trying to contribute, and I appreciate it. I appreciate anybody that's watching. So we're gonna take this shit a lot of other places. I'm gonna keep y'all up to date. Hopefully, it'll be from the dog room pretty soon. And I just want to let y'all know, just like I say in a famous words once again, a Naruto. They can give up on me, giving up on bringing forth a dog utopia. You know what I'm trying to say? Jay, Dog King Hefner, out. I'll catch y'all later, man. Uh, we definitely going to talk again. If the head come in, I'll be back. I might just drop another video later about something we've been talking about. So either way, man, I thank y'all for watching, man. Take care.